Hello one and all, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown Episode 5 now um, Yeah, I'm Dion from InfectBuff.com You should know that by now and you should already have the site bookmarked and be reading it every single day of your life uh, Yeah, so let's crack on straight away We've got 5 days to the council report, we've actually got some money now So let's go to engineering The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander we're always glad to have more help down here. No problem, uh, matey -o. Right, let's build some items. Right, first of all, straight away, the arc thrower. Big time. So, let's submit order for... <sighs> okay, let's just submit order for one of them now. And let's see what else we have. The nanofiber vest. So we don't want to be careful with our... <clears throat> okay, let's manufacture uh, three of them. Um, it's 51. Bit unfair, isn't it, giving it to only three, but we need to keep some money. Scope. Okay, we're definitely going to buy that for... Buy two of them. Now we're going to buy one now for the sniper. Or Levin. I don't think it is Levine. I've been calling him Levine. Levin. So yeah, that's cool. Um, what do we have here? We have a satellite. And that's 85 cost. And needs five engineers. And this. Okay, we'll manufacture that. It's only eight credits. Hmm. Yeah. And I don't think we can actually build the satellite. Commander. Because, yeah. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. So what do we want? <coughs> we need... Well, we can't afford the satellite uplink yet. We can have another laboratory and another workshop. But let's get out of here quickly and go to the barracks. We can increase our squad size and do not much else for now. We can also hire soldiers, but I don't think we need to. We haven't had a fatality yet. Long may it continue. Um, yeah, we're going to buy the squad size. Cool. We have 54 credits left. We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, cool. Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. So let's just uh, burn through the rest of our cash and... Yeah. We're going to go with another two. And buy... I will buy another scope. Okay. So, that's cool. Let us figure out something else with the hangar. We've got our ships, we don't know, don't need to be here. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Back to mission control and let's crack on. Incoming transmission. Okay. Council wants to talk to us. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. You and expected that is not me not to be brilliant. Makes lightly. Okay, of course I'm amazing. Right. Carry on. So ah, let's have a look. We need to sort out South Africa, Brazil, and Mexico. Okay, so I think Remember, we will be watching. We now have um, some more credits. So let us do this. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, we need more engineers. So let's get let's build a workshop. Excavate that, excavate that. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering 
Okay, I don't care what you have to say now. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay. So, Ben in Nigeria. Mission difficulty difficult and reward 200. Mission difficulty moderate scientists 4. And China difficult and we get support sergeant. Haha, -ha. okay. Right, so what are we going to do? We've got a moderate here. We get another four scientists though, that could be really useful. I don't know. The cash though. The cash could allow us to basically get our satellite uplink ready, and that means we can get another satellite out. So I think, even though this is going to be a difficult one, yeah, we have the support. That's all right. But I don't. I'm, I'm quite happy with the squad. We have scientists. I we'll need some more at some point, but yeah, I think 200 credits is going to be really useful. So hold on to your hats for this one. Okay, so, let's figure this out. Dubois, you're back. Good. Let's see. Right, I'm going to quickly pause the video again and load them all out so you don't bore yourself to tears, and I'll be back in a mo. Okay, welcome back. Um, just a couple of changes here. We have this new guy, uh, Zhang. I'll just quickly go run through uh, his abilities. I've gone with fire rockets, bullet swarm, suppression, and rapid reaction. Basically, the other direction from our other heavy, which went this way. And he will have the arc thrower. So this guy is going to hopefully bag us some aliens. Yep. And then we have Sergeant Lawrence, who I've renamed from the ridiculously generic nickname of Ace to Bones, which is of course a reference to Dr. McCoy from the original Star Trek series, since he is our field medic. And yeah, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, he got a nano vest and yeah, everything's pretty cool. So, let's go. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay. So, let's remember this is for credit so we can get our satellite uplink system sorted. And this is also set to difficult. This is a difficult mission, so... Central. Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction This is not going to be easy. Copy so. that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. First things first, I would like to know if I can get this guy, Levin, up on any sort of elevation. But it doesn't look like we can get up on top of that truck, I don't think. Let's have a quick look round. No. So just bring him here. Enemies in sight. This is a disturbing sight, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Okay. So, another type of alien, robotic in nature. Okay. Take the shots. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the shot. Forty six percent chance. Come on, bones. Nice. Got a shot off at least. Another guy here. Let's do this. Oh, 
come on, a miss from there. That's not nice. Right, this guy has to get close because we need him to stun an alien at some point. So we have to take an alien back with us. But you can see this blue perimeter here is where we have to get inside of. <coughs> a bit of a risk taking him into a dashing position. You know we're going to get attacked. But hopefully... Okay, this really is a bit of a risk. I do understand that, but we're going to try anyway. And Dubois. We're going to bring you into a firing position as well. Get another shot off. 28% chance on that one, 28% chance on that one. But this one is more of a risk, I think, so... I don't expect a shot here, it'll be really nice though. Okay, it's good, we got three on him. Now we're gonna get attacked. Watch the flags. Ouch. Okay. Got a lot of heat on me. Okay, this is bad. The car is gonna explode you now. To so we have to get away from the car. pistol and shoot him. Right. Bones is... He can't get in there. Okay. I think we should be alright. I hope. Bring him up here, I think. And we are going to Overwatch. Right, now. We don't want him to die. We want this guy to capture him, so. What to do, what to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to use this guy to storm inside. So far so good. And... He will be on Overwatch. And we're going to try to stun. 90% chance, come on. Subduing target. Excellent. Now we can yes. begin preparing for the interrogation. Okay, so far so good. Let's scope out our situation a bit more. There's plenty more problems abounding, I think, so... <clears throat> Let's get this guy in here. And as you see, we are able to avoid that. Can get him on the roof. So let's dash him right up into this... Uh, I believe this is up here, right? our sniper. <clears throat> and our field medic is going to come in and sort this guy out. You're good to go. Okay. And now for the next part. So 
far so good. Let's make sure there's nothing around here. <clears throat> I'm getting nervous now. Still no more em enemy contact, but they're here somewhere. Doesn't seem to be anything in this building. Okay. Two thin men. Got something over here. X-rays coming in from the sides. And we have the shot. We're going to switch back to the sniper rifle. We have the headshot. 66% chance there and a 66% chance there. So, okay. Come on, Levin. You need to get this shot. Bloody hell. Shot failed to connect. Snake eyes, really? Snake eyes? Of course you are. I guess we know our situation at least. I think. Even though it's a dash. Yeah, we're going to bring him up as well. the same for actually maybe not Can I bring you here and we have suppression all the shot let's have a look at the shot first 55% and 55% so we're going to have him on suppression this one is... No shot. Okay, we took a shot there, but hopefully we're in a pretty good position now. Let's see if we can move him up. No, no, no. Not with a sniper rifle. Come on now. Come on. Finally. And again, please. But we're not done yet. No, no. No, indeed. Let's figure out where to go next now. Let's bring him around here. And Zhang will Start the clearance, I think. It's risky. I'm aware of that, but I think we're going to take him up here. And we have more cont- Oh, bloody hell. That was a bad, bad choice on my part. I thought we were clear. They've gone and poisoned themselves though, which wasn't very smart.
Okay. Cover the flanks. That all you got? Lucky for the miss there. I'm under fire. Oh, really lucky. We've really, really dodged a bullet there, literally. Okay. Take the shot. Come on. Really, really getting on my last nerves now. What about you? Come on, Bones. Yeah, the field medic is a better shot than our sniper. It's ridiculous. Right, we need to get inside and clear these two out. That would be a really, really top thing to do now. I have no idea if we've got more problems over here, but I, I, I have a feeling it's unlikely. So we've got two sectoids in here that I can see. And two of these bastards. So let's bring him back round for support. And... Okay. Open the door first. And I can't see them. Which isn't fun. Still can't see them. Did they go upstairs? I honestly can't remember now. Or into the other section of this building. Honestly don't know. Let's check, uh, what is it? Some sort of abattoir. Right. Let's get rid of this guy first. 48% chance? Oh no, that's, that's okay. And a 69% chance. But he is really damaged already and possibly poisoned. So what's the better shot to go for? Uh, you know what, we've got one of these already. So let's... What we can do with the rockets. Sweet. That problem's over. We have a sectoid here outside, and another one here, so they came outside. Okay, well, I'd really, really like to capture one. Jesus Christ, critical hit on him, that's not good. Oh my god. No way. Highlander's dead. This has got really bad really quickly. Come on. No Good. longer a threat. I'm out of firepower over here. Right, you. Oh, this is dangerous now. I reckon he's got enough life to deal though. Isn't there another sectoid here somewhere? Or did I kill it? Let's bring him here. Right, I know I'm going to take a hit on him, but it might be worth it. We can manage to capture the sectoid. Okay. I can't believe we lost Highlander. So, we're going to... This is definitely a risk. All heal for now. Okay. 
than what I would like, if possible. You know what? This is this is a this is tactical, very tactical. But there's a chance if I come up next to him, he may take the shot instead. Because a critical now on Zeng means another fatality in this mission. So yeah. Okay. Come on. Seventy percent chance. Make it count. Firing arc thrower. Yes. Target disabled. We got him. Operational objectives complete. <sighs> right, well. We managed to get the mission completed and we captured two different types of aliens, which is a very good result, but this is not a day at all for for good results. We lost a good man, and that's a shame. It's a damn shame in the alien war. My god. Highlander. Surely. Surely not. Unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Live in. Let's have a look then. Come on. Unfortunately, the battle continues. There's no time to mourn. It allows the sniper to uh, target's main weapon to malfunction. The target may use reload to fix that weapon. The shot cannot inflict a critical hit. Two turn cooldown. Um, battle scanner. Scanning device that, when thrown, creates a new source of vision for two turns. Can only be used two times per battle. Yeah, we're going to go with the scanner. And we didn't get any other promotions, and unfortunately a death. I know it wasn't easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. <sighs> Impressive work indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. I hope it was worth it. We did get a lot of stuff though. <clears throat> We've got a research plasma pistol, light plasma rifle. We have a sectoid and a floater, uh, which is a great result. <clears throat> and a floater autopsy coming up. But the two live specimens is fantastic. Uh, and the artifacts we got plasma pistol, light plasma rifle, sectoid corpse, three floater corpses, two thin man corpses, another a sectoid captive, a floater captive, and eight weapon fragments. Operation Shattered Stallion. The XCOM squad deployed to Nigeria has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Benin City. Nigeria is deeply grateful for your help and hopes that these rewards will be of use to the XCOM project. 200 credits. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay, so we're going to get down to engineering. The more I see, the more I don't want to see. That twisted hulk of flesh and metal, driven by the alien technology. We have excavating time Can still. still. Call that life? We have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is troubling. What if they were like us once? Okay. Are we just part of a continuing cycle? If this is a glimpse of our future, I want no part of it. Let's get out of here and... What is our research situation? Two days. Sign your research. By studying the methods used by the aliens to manage energy consumption and heat dissipation in their weapons, we've advanced our existing laser-based weaponry designs well beyond what we had previously envisioned. Remarkably, we now have a working prototype that is both capable and portable, a development that had at one time been considered impossible. Although we've had to reduce the size of the focusing lenses in the process, we found very little decrease in the overall output or accuracy of the weapon during initial testing. Okay, we've got beam weapons, sweet, the laser pistol, and the laser rifle, and we have interrogations. Not 
not getting out. So we've got the sectoids, and yeah, let's get back to mission control. Okay, UFO contact, and that right there is a good place, I think, to end the episode. We lost Highlander, unfortunately, which was uh, just a bit of a blow, but, you know, the war continues, and next time we're going to attempt to shoot down this UFO, and hopefully have no more casualties. Uh, I've been Dion from IntellectBuff.com. Um, you've been you, and as always, thanks for watching, and tune in next time.